I'm not used to being high every time, but it comes back. Look at my wife. Hi, dude. I was literally, you always just carry all that stuff. Our pre drinks are whatever we have left over. A little bit of Jordan. Great, my new hair. Is it lovely? No, it was a dead wolf. Yum. I was just smashing some oh, ice. I feel like your rice is really good out there. Lovely data number two coffee courtesy of a gentleman sooner. <laughs> Biggest shout out you're yeah. <laughs> We made sushi, we made vegan sushi. She's so beautiful. Can she draw? As you can see, number three is missing. Meg's not here. Actually, Meg messaged us being like, you're doing it. <laughs> in QA with Ida. She's getting vaccinated. Yeah, she's in America right now. It's so the best. We miss her, but it's the best. I haven't done like a QA literally since the start of the year. So I thought it'd be kind of like a nice way to end the year. And the college, yeah. you're doing it. Ask you guys over on Instagram to send us some questions. Um, we haven't picked out any questions. So this is going to be <laughs> super off the cuff. Super off the cuff. Also, we have had like three gin and tonic. Cheers. Cheers to Wednesday nights. <laughs> Cheers to Wednesday nights. Cheers to graduating. Cheers. Well, we haven't graduated yet. Cheers to four. No, we're overgrad. Cheers to being an overgrad. One from our darling friend. <laughs> <laughs> Are you two secretly lovers? <laughs> Short answer, yes. Long answer. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, a guy I was seeing genuinely asked me if I was in love with Abby, which I, I am. You can see why. Like, I love her and I spend like every waking hour with her, and I'm gonna spend basically my whole summer with her. Mm -hmm. with her. Always moving in with me for maybe what, 10 days? Two weeks? Yeah, whenever I go to London, it's 7 right. um, How are we gonna do this? I don't know. Tips on dissertation. Out of all my friends, Abby was so on top of it. I mean, I submitted mine on time, but like, you submitted yours like with a week to review. Start as early as humanly possible. Obviously, like, don't stress yourself, I think. To be fair, mine wasn't due till 25th of March. I didn't start properly until after Christmas. Yeah, I spent so much time reading and I should have just started. Like, yeah. I read so much first term whenever I could have written. And probably a lot of that chapters. reading you didn't use. No, exactly. Yeah. Number one tip for dissertation is even if you're like preliminary stages, preliminary stages of reading, start writing. Even if you have like a few paragraphs, it helps you so much figure out what Also, I think I did a lot of stupid reading right at the beginning into like September. I read so much stuff that I actually didn't end up using because my topic kept changing. Yeah. I did a lot of my final reading as I was writing. Yeah. If that oh makes my sense. Gosh. Yeah. Postcard plans. Do you all have jobs lined up? I feel stressed that I don't have one help. No. No. <laughs> okay, obviously your situation is different to mine. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I'm in a... Like you're earning currently. I'm currently living off YouTube money at the minute. I have plans. I'm gonna, I think for me, like, it's different because we've been in COVID for the last year and a half. Mm -hmm. So I'm very much like, let me take a break. I have no plans. I'm gonna settle at home again, kind of live the summer and then see where I go from there. Don't stress. I know. Don't rush into something just because, like, I see a lot of people rushing into things just because other people around them are doing, like, the grad jobs and, like, the internships. And the masters. No need. Masters are so expensive. Don't rush into mm. a masters. 
if it's not what you want to do. Masters are like upwards of 10 grand a year. Yeah. I know, and our undergrad was like three grand a year, which I know is like, a big difference. Yeah, which is lower than most, but like, there's no point spending that money just because you feel like you have to be doing something. Do you see yourself living in Dublin again? Like, I'm genuinely so sad that I'm leaving. But at the same time, I don't think I want to be here for the next few years. Like, I want to be in different places. It's just the fact that it's like these four years are over in Dublin, and they were. They were so good, which is what makes it so... The thing is, I think no years compared to like your student years here. Mm. So like, I think you'd be going into it like next year with this whole like, oh, it's going to be exactly the same. It's not going to be the same. Yeah. I just think it's like, obviously, if you're from Ireland, like it's comparatively like, a big city. But like, for me at least, like it's a small city. Yeah. I've done all that I want to do and I'm kind of, I think I'm outgrowing it. Yeah. I think if I was going to come back to Dublin, it would be... To like raise a family. Oh, it's such a lovely city for that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, not that I'm planning on raising a family in Dublin. I'd rather raise a family in London than I would in Dublin. Yeah. But I can understand the appeal of people wanting to come back here. Ooh, here's a good one. Okay. Um, top vegan places in Dublin. Oh god. Okay. Um, the Vegan Sandwich Company. I know. I need to the try vegan that. Vegan Sandwich Company. I've heard amazing things. But Sova Vegan Butcher. Sova Vegan Butcher, which apparently does a really good like vegan steak. Blazing salads, Blazing, sprouts, oh my god, all those those kind of places. Yeah, blazing salads actually I think is better than yeah. Like I think Sprite so. just does salads, but Blazing salads is on Jury Street. Um, they do like vegan spring rolls, vegan pizza, and it's like really nice to get like a little bite. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Red wine check. We're good, good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna be doing a bunch of red wine checks <laughs> because I I get such bad red wine lips. Me too. I'll come in from a night out go take off my makeup and I'll be like, holy shit, did I look like this the whole night? So embarrassing. And then what are you doing to channel your inner hot girl this summer? <laughs> I'm taking that. <laughs> Not worrying about men. No. We love we're actually, company. We're, yeah, focusing on friendships. I feel like one of my favorite things about this year has been how much I've grown in all my friendships. Mm -hmm. Not to get like sentimental or anything, but that's been so important to me and also makes you realize friends are forever. <laughs> Men are only temporary unless, you know, it's like love of your life. But, but it has been the perfect year for like cutting your friend group, but they're all really good friends. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, you can't yeah, do I feel like I've talks. come out of this year so much stronger in my friendships. Then I Me probably too. would have if it was normal time. Okay, Amber asks, first impression of each other. <laughs> we have been friends since literally like the first day of halls. Mm, like not even an exaggeration. Literally, like, like, literally the first day. we lived right because actually we were in the same flat rooms without each other. Do you want to tell a story before we met? <laughs> okay, my parents forced us to be friends. No, everyone's moving in, like everyone's got their doors open, but like parents are there and everything. Yeah. And my mom kept being like, go and say hi to your families. And I was like, no, mom, I'm so embarrassed. It's so, and I'm like a confident person, but like, whatever. And they're like, look, the girl next door is there right now. Go and say hi. And I was like, mm -hmm. and my mum literally left the room and was like, hi, my daughter wants to buy Fresh's wristband tickets with you. And I was like, oh my god, this is the most embarrassing thing ever. And it was literally like our parents like made us hold hands and like pushed us out of the door. Yeah. From then on, we literally were like joined at the hip in first year. We, we did our food we cooked together. For each we cooked for each other. We meal prepped together. It's we really went full circle. Really. Yeah. No, we went out, made each other drunk food. But what was no. your first impression of me? Just like really nice. And I just remember you being like, you're just like this little girl next door. You had long hair and you like glasses. And it was so cute. Like. I remember us being very similar. I didn't even remember the conversations we were having. My first impression of you was like perfect, like wholesome but also fun. Yeah, yeah. I remember whenever we, we had like our first night out and getting ready and seeing Abby do her makeup, I was like, that girl clubs. <laughs> like, <laughs> that girl's dying for a good time. Like she, like she was like, yeah, I'm putting on fake lashes. I was like, yeah. <laughs> How does it change really? I know, like, I know. Like first the, year you The pictures try. of us on a, on a, like our first nights out, I'll like, insert please them. do because that's so funny. We wore so much makeup and like little skirts and like little. Like, oh we tried God, so hard. So funny. We got a bunch of questions about recommendations in Dublin for restaurants and bars. Fate Street's good for cocktails. Um, third year, that was our one. spot. They did two for one. We'd go there after lectures to have two for one mm -hmm. espresso martinis. <laughs> so bougie of us. My favorite restaurant of all time in Dublin is Jury Buildings, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I live like right beside. Got like a cocktail bar down below and then an That's Italian, yeah. it's an Italian restaurant above. Whenever I was sitting my SATs in Dublin, we would go there after every single exam. The pasta is so good. There's a pasta, espressatura, of course. Tura. Really good value. Really cheap. Wine and cocktails on tap. Yeah. My favorite pint of Guinness is Grogan's, which is just um, off Pars Court. Beatrice asks, how is it to say goodbye to college friends? Ooh. 
because this is our final year. Okay, I would struggle to say goodbye to you, definitely, but I'm not saying goodbye to you. God, I'm not saying goodbye to you. I will only realize that I've left college come like October when I realize I'm not coming back. Yeah, because I think a lot of our college friends and like wider periphery people are going to London. A lot of people are working or doing internships or just live there normally. I didn't have to say goodbye to Calcut Cast, which is so nice because I'm going to see them in London. Yeah. Future travel plans and all exclamation marks. Oh god, marks. okay. There are so many places I want to go. I feel wow, like that's a big question. This, this summer in like an ideal world, I would have loved to spend island hopping in Greece. Fingers crossed for like I mean, September. I mean, could potentially still happen to us summer. I think I would love to have like a Euro summer. South America would be next on my like big yeah. travel. Bucket list. That was so fun. I would love. Like, I soon. would like to take Abby to Indonesia. I would love to Indonesia. Yeah. Oh, that's almost like congratulations. Oh. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> Genuinely, not that many people have said that to me. Okay, yeah. fun. Plans for the London season. <laughs> London season of my life. I'm so excited. As I said in my last vlog, I'm gonna be in London for summer. Don't know mm. post August what I'm gonna do, but I feel like I was talking to my parents about it, and they were like, because I lived in London in their twenties. They were like, I feel like once you're there, you're gonna realize how much you love it, and like how much more you love it to like. New York and stuff. Because I'm biased, obviously, but like. yeah. <laughs> the thing with London is like, yeah, you have like all your different like boroughs and stuff. Like, obviously, New York has that as well, but I think just because everything is like lower, if you know what I mean. Yes, I was actually thinking this. I was like, New York is like this. Like, it's all yeah, it's all apartments like, and like apartment, big like, yeah, buildings, like Brooklyn and stuff. But like, London is. It's, it's more homely in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, plans for the London oh, season. No. A like, lot of bars and clubs once they're all open. Hopefully, fingers crossed, 21st My June. birthday, hopefully, in a club. We are manifesting I've it. Also, I've never had like a big birthday. I'm so excited <laughs> to move into the flat. So excited of your parents. Move out of my house. Like. What's one unexpected thing you'll miss about college? I think what I didn't think about before is just like being able to walk around Trinity and that sounds so like pretentious, but like, it's such a nice place to be when everything's normal and when the weather's nice. Like, I take it for granted because I just like run through with a big hood up and like go to the <laughs> library or something. Just going to the pub and being like, I know I'm going to run into someone. Well, that's my favorite. That was my favorite thing pre COVID. It's like you just walk into like the art spot or whatever and there's like, you'll get stopped about 10 times wherever you're going. I'll be so popular. popular. No, I'm so popular. <laughs> you always have someone to like go for lunch with, go for coffee with, go for a post lecture pint with i also think i'm gonna miss like the library i think we're gonna, i i love the library yeah well it makes me feel really studious i think i took it for granted whenever i was in them but in person lectures there's been a few lectures where i've sat in and been like holy shit, this is amazing like this person knows exactly what they're talking about they're so passionate about it and it really translates to you. Like I had this I lecture, know. I think it was in second year. He was so passionate that like I could not take notes fast enough to keep up with what he was saying. He wasn't using slides, wasn't using yes. anything. I was like, oh my God, everything you're saying is so interesting right now. I was literally like, duh, 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 duh. That's something we're obviously never gonna get <laughs> ever again, unless we do a masters. Which I'm not, I'm not cut out for a masters. Yeah, I don't think. Um, I think someone actually asked if you were to do a masters, what would you do it in? There's this one, place that I go to for a master's which is called the Court Hall, um, I think it's Court Hall Institute of Art. But they basically do like all the different areas of art history and I would I would love to do like kind of like a contemporary like a financial masters in art mm -hmm. history at that place because I feel like that would lead me to whatever I want to do. <laughs> what would you do? I think I would definitely get more towards international relations. Ooh, she comes from a history and French background. Yeah, and my dissertation was about... Morocco? <laughs> my dissertation was about... <laughs> What's your dissertation about, what? Abby? Tomboid. What, what, what did you write 14,000 words on? My dissertation was about the history of French in Morocco and about kind of like the relationship between France and Morocco in like a post-colonial landscape, I guess. Um, so I think I would definitely kind of gear more towards the international relations side. I've got three languages, so I get like you know what I mean. Like that. Including English. Yeah, including <laughs> obvious. How to mourn the end I'm of the big chapter? Sushi. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I just about to eat big sushi. But I'm gonna off this. I feel like we're not mourning. I feel like we're so excited for the next phase, and I think that's the best way. To I be. am mourning. I'm mourning. I'm mourning so hard. Like I'm, but I'm I'm a genuinely very like nostalgic person. I feel like you're not so much as emotional. Like we said earlier, it does help for us that like we're moving on with a lot of our friends like to the same yeah. city. So it kind of 
eases the transition, I think. Yeah, completely. You know? You're such an optimist. <laughs> Give us a love oh life. Oh no. Tell us about your best memories. Oh my god, that's an intense one. Do we, do we this, have like... best memories? Last question that we have is what advice would you give to girls who start college soon? Oh, I'm jealous. I'm so I'm jealous. Like jealous. You're coming in at the best time because I feel like from September things are going to start to get back. Hopefully. Fingers crossed for you guys. Anyway. The thing with college is that it's very like short winded. I feel like for school for me because I went to school for seven years, you like kind of like build up those friendships and like by the end of it you're like sad but ready to leave but for college it's so like action-packed and like mm -hmm. you really just gotta honestly one of my biggest piece of advice is that you just kind of gotta say yes to everything i was literally about to say don't say no to anything obviously because, within reason like if it makes you uncomfortable obviously don't say yes like say you're wrecked it's a tuesday night and there's a big crowd going out and they're all like i'll oh, come out and you're like oh i got a lecture just say yes and go for us the first and second year didn't count I know for UK university it's normally like first year doesn't count. Take that to your advantage. Don't stress. I really you. tried too hard in those years. Yeah, we tried so hard. Obviously try because it's like it's all gonna build on your own like reputation. How to make essays, your reputation, yeah. etc. But how to make essays. <laughs> how to write essays. You gotta say yes to as many things as possible because it's the best time of your life. Well, COVID years has taught us this. Like, no, completely. No. We have not been eating while we've been talking. We've still got a full plate of sushi. I know we've we talk too much. This is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing when how do we have this much to talk about? Like, look at all this sushi. Whoa, look at all this sushi. <laughs> this is the thing. Like everyone's so surprised how we have so much to talk about all the time. And I'm surprised too. <laughs> like every time I hang out with you, I'm like, how oh, do we have so much? <laughs> but we just do. I love her sushi. Cheers. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go finish this. And watch Below Dag. Oh, dream. Would 100% recommend. But thank you so much, Daddy. Mm. Sh shout out to Mike, he can be here. Always in our memories. Um, she will hopefully be here for my birthday. So maybe we'll do like a birthday get ready. In the hotel, me. I think so as so. well. Okay. Yeah, I'm so stoked. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, Yay. comment down below. Um, don't know if this is useful, but you know. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>